Senior Physiotherapist at Total Physio Care. At Total Physio Care, our goal is to provide patient-centred, holistic care that gets you back to your best. We understand that this is a challenging time for everyone and many of us may experience an increase in physical aches and pains as a result of increased stress and change in lifestyle. Whilst we continue to offer face-to-face -face consults, we are now proud to offer telehealth consults as well as live online classes to help you optimise your health and wellbeing while self-isolating. Telehealth can be just as beneficial as face-to-face -face consults and there is a growing body of evidence to support this. Click the link below to find out more. Today's video is the first of a three-part series aimed at helping you stay active and mobile whilst working from home. This video will focus on desk-based exercises you can do to break up your day and help maintain your posture. You don't need any special equipment for today's video, so let's get started. Okay, so the first exercise we're going to do today is shoulder rolls. So shoulder rolls, we start by bringing shoulders forwards, up, back and down and just moving through that motion making it as smooth as possible. With shoulder rolls I always go backwards and never forwards because we already spend enough time hunched forwards it's best to reverse that position as much as we can. Do about 10 to 15 of these every couple of hours. Okay so the second exercise we're going to do today is shoulder squeezes. So for this one, all you have to do is draw your shoulder blades back in together like you're squeezing a pencil between your shoulders. Hold for about five seconds and release. I like doing this exercise when I'm sitting at a desk for a long time. It's really important to break up our sitting posture as often as we can and I recommend every half hour. It doesn't mean you have to get up and go for a walk, but a couple of shoulder rolls or shoulder squeezes is enough. This next exercise I like to call the armpit stretch. It's a really lovely stretch for our upper neck muscles. So what we do, start by putting your hand behind your back and then look down to your opposite armpit or opposite hip. Place your other hand on top of your head and gently pull just to the first point of stretch. We always just wanna to go to that first point of stretch rather than pulling too far. Hold for about 30 seconds and then repeat on the other side. The next exercise is chin retractions and so for this one we're going to be making a bit of a double chin. Place two fingers on your chin and then your tongue on the roof of your mouth and draw your chin back towards your chest making a double chin. You want to feel like you're elongating through the back of your neck or as though someone is pulling on a ponytail at the back of your head to lengthen your spine. Hold this exercise for about five seconds and repeat as needed throughout the day. This next exercise is called pelvic tilting and it's a really nice way of getting some mobility through your lower back. Start by placing your hands on your hips and sitting on the edge of your chair up nice and tall. Imagine your pelvis is a bucket full of water and you're slowly tipping the water forwards and backwards out of the bucket. Repeat about 10 to 15 times. This next exercise is a really lovely stretch for your upper back and shoulders. Start by interlacing your fingers and reaching up overhead. Take a big breath in and as you exhale, reach across to one side. Take a breath in here, feeling the expansion through your ribs and as you exhale, return to the center. Another big breath in and then as you exhale, reach across to the other side. Breath in here to feel that expansion through your ribs and then exhale to return. Repeat two or three times each side. This next exercise is a really nice twist for your upper back. What we're going to do is sit up tall on the edge of your seat, wrap one hand behind you and the other hand over your opposite knee. Twist through your upper back and follow with your head and neck. Take a couple of breaths here and then return to the center and repeat on the other side. This next exercise is a really nice extension stretch for your upper back. You'll need your desk for this exercise, so start by resting your elbows on the desk with your hands in a prayer position. Lean forwards and extend through your upper back, breathing into the stretch. Stay here for a few breaths or for as long as you like. This next exercise is a great way to get some blood flowing throughout the day. 
It's called sit to stand and we start by sitting on the edge of the chair with hands crossed over your shoulders. Make sure that your feet, knees and hips are in one straight line. Lean forward slightly and stand up and then sit back down. Repeat about 20 times and then rest. You want to make sure for this exercise you've got a nice secure chair that isn't going to roll away. The final exercise in this series is a glute stretch. To do this one, sit up tall on the edge of your seat and cross one foot over your opposite knee. You should already feel a stretch in the side of your leg and into your bottom. If not, you can lean a little bit further into the stretch. Hold for about 30 seconds and repeat on each side. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have a few new ideas to help keep you active whilst working from home. As we've spoken about, the position we sit in all day makes a big difference to how we feel. And that's why for the months of April and May, Total Physio Care is offering a free ergonomic assessment via telehealth to help you set up your home office. Call the clinics today or click the link below to book online.